let's talk about how we can scatter points on animated geometry and have them stay in place. Usually if you just scatter points on animated geometry in play, they will jump around all over the place. So we can fix that by using a time shift node and uh, activating a couple attributes on our scatter, the source prim and source prim UV, and then using an attribute interpolate between our time shifted scatter and our deforming geometry. So you can see how this works with just a, you know, a basic setup. And then also uh, a useful example of this would be with the mega scans scattering. So if you import a mega scans item with scattering checked on, it'll build this setup for you. And to uh, modify it to work like our previous example on deforming geometry we have to go inside so you have to allow editing of contents find the scatter node and turn on the source prim and source prim uv attributes and then uh, we'll merge in our geometry and then we have to go through the same the same process of having our time shift uh, set to frame one so we have our static geometry and our deforming geometry and we attribute interpolate uh, between those two So this is a, a quick tip, a quick way to get your uh, points to stay in place on animated geometry. And uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful for you. I know that this is an issue that I ran into. And yeah, I hope this works for you. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.